morning chaps uh, this is the Ebola Tombola so he's gonna call out these numbers and we're gonna see who's gonna get which one of you lucky chaps in here gets the vaccine first so who wants the vaccine yay doesn't matter it's gonna give you uh, probably Ebola but which one of you lucky fellas want we've got you separated we've got the see we've got them brown skin people over there got you white UK British people here yeah it's the far right see they're on the right there yay so, so here we go with the Ebola Tombola okay <clears throat> she's a winner you get the vaccine first come on roll up roll up So they're all in doctor's clinics there, queuing up for the vaccine. And there's the shipment coming in. We're gonna get you cured. Don't you worry about that, uh, Ebola. <laughs> We've got the solution for you. No. Nope. Ladies, don't argue. You all get your vaccine. You all get that needle. That needle of goodness. Oh, I read the newspaper. It says the bowler's coming. Well, I want my vaccine. I would demand the vaccine right now. I want to protect me children. Me. Me. You've, you, it's all, there's enough vaccine to go around, ladies, fellas, guys. Don't you worry about that. You just keep reading that newspaper down there. In fact, uh, David Cameron's on uh, BBC Breakfast. Why don't you look at that screen over there? That's going to tell you that you need this vaccine and tell you about the dangers of not taking the vaccine. Yep, there's the clinic. Queue up, guys. It's all coming. So everyone's eager with anticipation for the vaccine. They can't wait to get that needle in them. You can trust us, we're doctors. There's the shipments of vaccine coming for all you lovely people. Alright. They're calling, they're calling out the numbers now. Who's going to get the vaccine first? It's like a lot. It's a tombola. Yeah. Whoever gets the number. What, what numbers do you think will come up first? Number three? Number six? Number nine? Yeah. Number seven? Or number 77? Me, I want a vaccine. I've got three kids. I've got three kids. E, I just watched that. Uh, Article in the Daily Mirror. It was really fascinating, but it says we're going to be protected by from Ebola by taking the vaccine, and we're all safe now. And they wouldn't lie, would they? And actually, I watched David Cameron on the television the other day, and he says, "E, well, if we all take the vaccine, we'll be dead safe." And them scroungers, E, I can't believe it. Them people, them poor people, they're disgusted, and we should kill them all, As, especially with immigrants and that. We don't like them. They're totally horrible. We should just kill all them as well. Alright. Okay, time for your vaccine. Of course I'm being very satirical here. It's comedy. Uh, it's not the people's fault to a certain extent, although it is because they should know better. They should see or have the ability to see a lie and therefore 
you know, anger says we can't blame the victim, although, to a certain extent, if you're too stupid to see through the lies, are you a victim? Big question mark. If you're that naive that you can't see the, the whole shit anymore, and that the, you know, the propagating propaganda, then you're no longer a victim, even though, I mean, this is a thing, it's an arrogance of ignorance kind of thing. It's an arrogance of ignorance. The arrogance of ignorance. Well, I know it all because it says it in the fucking newspaper. And they never question that simple fact. Is the newspaper telling me the truth? So therefore, are they the victim if they can't see through bullshit? You know? Even though it's quite clearly pointed out so many times. And in a fucking age of information with so many people saying oh god they're all lying what um, uh, right do they have to say well they're telling the truth this time when they know that they lie so therefore they're no longer ill informed or the victim if they are you know have this knowledge available you can't say that they're the victim anymore you can't do that anyway Tom Bowler the Ebola Tombola. Queue up, get your vaccine. And make sure you... Give it to your children. Yeah, I mean, fucking hell. Yeah, I'm sure, like, they need fucking needles in them. And not any vegetables or nutrition. Or nothing like that. Uh, just a needle with God knows what in it. Anyway, thank you and good night. <laughs>